Please, please remain standing for the national anthem to be sung by Captain Antonio Quinones. Detail and salute. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the brave Ready, two. Thank you, Captain Quinones. Please remain, please remain standing <clears throat> while Father Chaplain Monsignor John DeLendic invites, is invited to the podium to deliver the invocation. Detail uncovered. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come together today to honor, to thank, and to pray for these new promotees in the New York City Fire Department. They have come here today and they ask your blessing. Give them a share of your wisdom that they will always draw on their experience, on their training, to do what is right and to make the proper decisions correctly and swiftly. Give them a share of your courage so that they will speak when words are necessary and they will act when action is needed. Give them a share of your compassion so that no matter what the rank, we are all brothers and sisters in the New York City Fire Department and we take care of each other. Heavenly Father, we ask, too, to remember those who have come with them today, their family and friends. They were the ones who loved them, encouraged them to be able to get to this position. Help them to continue to, continue to challenge them as they did before, as these members begin their new positions. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bless Take care of all those who are working in the fire service today and lead them home to their families tonight. As always, we ask this as your loving children. Amen. Detail recover. Thank you, Monsignor. Please retire the colors. Please be seated. Please direct your attention to the monitors at the side and in the front of you for a brief video presentation. 
since 1865, there has been one organization protecting life and property in our city. One group that trains to meet each challenge head on, ensuring the safety of all who visit and live in New York. One department that answers every call for help, no matter the dangers and no matter the cost. We serve with honor. We serve with dedication. And most of all, we serve with bravery. This is your FDNY. Once again, good morning. My name is Battalion Chief Michelle Fitzsimmons. I would like to thank you uh, to welcome you to today's promotional ceremony. I want to take a moment to introduce the members of our dais. Acting Fire Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh. Chief of Department, John Hodgins. Chief of Staff, Elizabeth Cassio. And ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause while I introduce the remaining members of this, uh, the dais. Chief of Operations, John Esposito. Assistant Chief, Michael Gala, Jr. Chief of Safety, Michael Myers. Manhattan Borough Commander, Michael Agello. Brooklyn Borough Commander, Joseph Ferrante. Staten Island Borough Commander, Kevin Woods. Chief Fire Marshal, Daniel Flynn. Assistant Chief Fire Operations, Kevin Brennan. Bronx Borough Commander, John Sirocco. Assistant Chief of EMS Operations, Cesar Escobar. Chief of Special Operations, Malcolm Moore. Assistant Chief Fire Marshal, Michael Cavanaugh. Acting Chief of Training, Frank Lieb. Deputy Assistant Chief of Fire Operations, Dean Coster. Chief of Uniform Personnel, Michael Masucci. Deputy Assistant Chief of EMS Operations, Roberto Colon. Deputy Assistant Chief of Emergency Medical Dispatch, Denise Werner. UFA President James McCarthy and Vice President UFA Robert Eustens. Eustens. I would also like to acknowledge all the FDMY Chiefs, Assistant Commissioners, FDNY companies, families, and friends, welcome all.
We will now hear from our first speaker, our acting fire commissioner, Laura Cavanaugh. Good morning. I know you guys in the top are not quiet, so let's try that again. Good morning. Thank you. It's a good day, right? So a special good morning and a thank you to everybody who's here today, especially our new prom promotees, our chiefs, captains, lieutenants, and our fire marshals, but also a special nod to the family and the friends up top of our promotees, not only for showing up today in mass to support your loved ones, but for all of the support that you have given them during their long hours of studying and the time that they spend away from home protecting New Yorkers. Let's give a round of applause to our family and friends. I also want to take a moment to give a special acknowledgement to a specific firehouse that has really taken the idea of studying and being promoted to another level. At Engine 69, Ladder 28, Battalion 16, we congratulate six members being promoted today, including three lieutenants, one captain, one battalion chief, and one deputy chief. You can cheer for that. Let's let everyone being promoted today make the same commitment to encouraging and mentoring the next generation of FDNY leaders. Thank you to the Harlem Hilton, and let's give you a special round of applause for setting that example. What always strikes me about our promotion ceremonies is how much knowledge and experience I stand before here. Each of you being promoted today has accomplished so much in your careers already, and you bring the kind of wisdom that can only be earned through hard work and experience. You have fought fires and provided emergency medical care. You have all cared for and truly saved dozens, if not hundreds, of New Yorkers who needed help in their darkest hours. You have had good days and you have had bad days. You have shown up at jobs big and small, and you have also stood shoulder to shoulder with each other when we lose one of our own. You have given love and support to the families of the fallen and the injured, and you have given your time to the charitable causes and events designed to keep their memories alive. You have set the example by mentoring junior members who look to you for guidance. In doing all of this, you are the reason that the FDNY is admired by fire departments all over the world. For that reason, taking on leadership in the FDNY is no small task. You must live up to a long line of legendary and battle-tested leaders while continuing to set the example for professionalism and respect for the entire fire service. No pressure. But I know you are up to that task just by what you've done already to get here today. You have already shown that commitment and dedication and a promise to serve, and that has brought you here to step into new roles as leaders in the FDNY. We are just a few short weeks away from our department's darkest day, 9-11. And this has been a very long two years for our department and our city struggling through a pandemic. But as you always have, you continue to show up when others cannot. So today, we're celebrating your new ranks, but we're also celebrating the commitment to being great and doing great things. We're celebrating your willing willingness to take on, to go the extra mile, and to do so with the passion and pride that you all have for this job and this department. This promotion is just the natural next step for all of you. We challenge you now to inspire, to lead, and to be role models for those in your command. Congratulations once again to all of you. You have truly earned this day. I hope you enjoy it. Keep up the great work and stay safe. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, we now welcome to the podium, Chief of Department, John Hodgins. Good morning and welcome. Congratulations to all of our newly promoted officers and fire marshals. We have a large group of chiefs, captains, lieutenants, and fire marshals today. And it's always a great day to see new leaders growing in our department. This past week has been a particularly tough one for the department. We laid five of our brothers to rest, 
forced to come to a World Trade Center illness, and one had an unexpected death from a freak accident. Please keep their families in your thoughts and prayers. But today is a great day. Along with Medal Day, Proby School, graduation, and a few others, a promotion ceremony is one of the great days in our department. With the new rank and new assignments and responsibilities, starting for many of you at 0900 tomorrow, it's tempting to say today is the beginning of the next step. However, I know I speak for all of you, and perhaps more importantly, your family, friends, and firehouses, when I say this journey began, began a long time ago, when you first decided to take on the challenge of our promos, promotion process, which I know is not easy. The books, the study groups, the classes, the early mornings and late nights, the afternoons spent away from family and friends. It is not an easy process. And you could not have done it alone. I personally thank you, the family and friends, for supporting our members through this process leading up to this day. Thank you. One lesson I have learned through the years is that all of the officer rank require you to be a leader. The challenges of leadership require constant learning on all parts. With the exception of our recently promoted fire marshals, I and all of my fellow staff chiefs have walked in all of your shoes in each of the ranks being promoted here today. While all of you have demonstrated proficiency in our fire tactics and procedures, there is no book knowledge for all of the challenges you will face. I would like to share with you some of the lessons that I have learned and continue to learn while working in my current role in the department. Consistency, leadership requires us to be consistent. In whatever capacity your new, your new role allows, set policies and expectations that are aligned and consistent with the department's mission and your core values. Our members expect and deserve to know what you stand for. And while your core values and beliefs change very little, if at all, over time, when after making a decision, don't be afraid to reevaluate your decision based on your values and additional information you may receive. You may change your mind on a certain issue. Your values and beliefs will always remain. You don't have to take every decision to your grave. Leaders should be fair. When making decisions, treat everyone involved equally and don't rush to judgment. If you're not sure, consult with your peers and try to understand all sides of the issue. Compromise when possible and make the hard decisions when necessary. Fair is not always easy. Leaders should practice Empathy. Try to understand why people are acting in the ways that they do. Assume the best intentions in those you work with and those you supervise, and you may find a new way of understanding their motives and actions. Leaders motivate, but they t attempt to understand first. Our promotion process is somewhat unique in that you have all worked in the roles of those members you will supervise. You have walked in their shoes, have had the opportunity to understand what they face. You may have come from different backgrounds, but you share a unique bond from coming up together through the ranks. One of the most important things is trust. Put your trust in your people. Allow them to do their job and provide feedback to them how they are doing. Praise when appropriate and make corrections when necessary. We depend on each other in life-threatening situa situations. We must have trust to be successful. I trust all of you to always do what is necessary to keep our members safe and, pro and to protect the public to the best of your abilities. 
Communication is a very important part of being a leader. This is the most, probably the most important lesson that I've learned. Let your people know your objectives, your intent, and your expectations. Set high expectations and communicate them to your team, and they will rise to your expectations. Give them feedback. Let them know how they are doing. Be open to feedback. Nobody is perfect. Communication is a key component of success as a leader. I believe that if you practice some of these lessons, fairness and consistency, empathy and communication and trust, along with those lessons that you have taken from your role models and predecessors, you can trust your people to excel at their jobs and work together to accomplish the great work of the department. You are now a part of a team that's bigger than you, that's bigger than all of us. That's why it's such an honor to become an officer in the FDNY. There is no greater distinction than to lead in the world's greatest fire department. I know I can count on all of you to follow through with that mission. I wish you all great success in all of your new roles. I look forward to meeting you out in the field, or maybe you come to headquarters for a while. <laughs> Good luck to all of you. God bless you, God bless the FDNY, and God bless America. Thank you, Chief. We will now administer the promotions. I will ask the Acting Fire Commissioner and the Chief of Department to please step forward to administer the oath of office to the rank of Deputy Chief. Will Battalion Chiefs James Carney, Christopher Paicelli, Dennis Myers, James Sangiamo, and Martin Linquist please come on the stage to take the oath. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, James Carney. Having been appointed to the rank of Fire Deputy Chief. Having been promoted to the rank of Deputy Chief. In the Fire Department of the City of New York the Fire Department of the City of New York. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Do solemnly swear that I'll support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of such rank. Now, faithfully discharge the duties of such rank. According to the laws, regulations, and orders. According to the laws, orders, regulations. Governing the department. Governing the department and will obey the orders and directions of my superiors. And obey the orders and directions of my superiors. To the best of my ability. To the best of my abilities. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, from Battalion 5-1, Deputy Chief James Carney. Italian 5-4, Christopher Paicelli, Deputy Chief Payo. From the Safety Battalion, Deputy Chief Dennis Myers.
from Battalion 405, Deputy Chief James Sangiamo. From Battalion 1-6, Deputy Chief Martin Lindquist. Next, we will promote to the rank of Battalion Chief. Well, Thomas Regan. Please come up on the stage to represent the group. I will ask all the other promotees to remain in place. Raise your right hand and repeat the oath with the commissioner. I state your name. Having been promoted to the rank of battalion chief in the fire department of the city of New York. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of such rank. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of such rank. According to the laws, regulations, and orders according to the laws, regulations, and orders governing the department, governing the department, and will obey the orders and directions of my superiors, and will obey the orders and directions of my superiors to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Battalion Chief Thomas Regan, Engine 273, Downtown Flushing. <laughs> Battalion Chief John Leverock, Engine 241, the Third Avenue Express. <laughs> Battalion Chief Nicholas Chelsea. Engine 201. Engine 210, sorry. <laughs> Battalion Chief Dave Royale. Engine 305. Pride of the Hill. Battalion Chief, Thomas Tanjosh. Ladder three, recon. Battalion Chief, Edward Poley. Engine 60, the Green Berets. Battalion Chief John McNamara, Engine 46, across Bronx, Bronx Express. <laughs> Battalion Chief James Amsterdam, Engine 246, Fighting Brighton. Battalion Chief Brian DeFusco, Engine 230, Pride of Bed Stuy. <laughs> Battalion Chief Paul Nugent, Engine 326, the Springfield Express. Battalion Chief Joseph Eddings, 
Engine 260, Long Island City Lightning. Italian Chief Jared Garitano, engine 155, the hot corner. Italian Chief Gerald Wood, ladder 28, the Harlem Hilton. Italian Chief Jared Blake, ladder 12, the Dirty Dozen. Italian Chief Mark Becker, Hazmat Ops, Mr. Bubbles. Italian Chief Brian Walters, Engine 22, the Pride of Yorkville. Italian Chief John Martinick, Engine 64, the Castle Hill Knights. Italian Chief Dennis, Dennis Sweeney, Division 6. We will now promote to the rank of captain. Will Lieutenant Lawrence Playa please come up on the stage to represent the group I will ask the other promotees to remain in place, raise your right hand, and repeat the oath after the commissioner. I state your name. I, Lawrence Playa. Having been promoted to the rank of captain. Having been promoted to the rank of captain. In the Fire Department of the City of New York. In the Fire Department in the City of New York. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Do solemnly swear to support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And the Constitution of the State of New York. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of such rank. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of such rank. According to the laws, regulations, and orders. According to the laws, regulations, and orders. Governing the department. Governing the department. And will obey the orders and directions of my superiors. And will obey the orders and directions of my superiors. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Captain Lawrence Playa. Engine 166, Bull's Head Bravest. <laughs> Captain William Patakos, Ladder 146, the Thunderbolts. <laughs> Captain Shane Mooney, Ladder 175, East New York Truck Company. Captain Scott Dio, Lotto 5-8, the Vise Guys. <laughs> Captain Thomas Clancy, Engine 273, Downtown Flushing. Captain Michael Skolan, Engine 156, the Broadway Express.
Captain Michael Fody. Ladder one four. Heaven in Harlem. Captain James Andrewsy, engine 281, deprived of Flatbush. Captain Matthew Jedevis, engine 303, Princeton, Princeton Street Tigers. Captain Dennis Keating, ladder 144, the Whitestone Eagles. Captain Steve Pura, Decon. Captain Alexander Streichenwein. Squad 8, Ocho. <laughs> Captain Carl DeLalo, Ladder 150, the Hollis Hogs. <laughs> Captain Christopher Poland. Engine 7-3, the Casa del Elefante. <laughs> Captain Daniel Burns, Lado 119, the Hoopa Street Gang. <laughs> Captain Michael McConnan, Engine 328, the Big House. Captain Matthew Bender, Lateral 133, Merrick Magic. <laughs> Captain James Gasona, Engine 53, El Barrio's Bravest. <laughs> Captain Brian McKay. Engine 46, the Cross Bronx Express. <laughs> Captain Kirk Candon, Ladder 39, the Pride of Woodlawn. <laughs> Captain Steve Shamming, Engine 166, Bull's Head's Bravest. Captain Darren Hutchinson, Ladder 115, This Old House. <laughs> Captain Daniel Cangiolosi, Ladder 125, The Greatest Show on Earth. Captain Michael K. McNally, Engine 62, the Gun Hell Gang. <laughs> Next, we will promote to the rank of Lieutenant. Will Tony Mazur please come up on the stage to represent the group? I will ask the other pr promotees to remain in place. Raise your right hand and repeat the oath with the commissioner. I state your name. I, Tony Mazur. Having been promoted to the rank of fire lieutenant, Having been promoted to the rank of fire lieutenant. In the fire department of the city of New York. 
in the Fire Department of the City of New York. Do you solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States? Do you solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States? And the Constitution of the State of New York? And the Constitution of the State of New York? And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of such rank? And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of such rank? According to the laws, regulations, and orders. According to the laws, regulations, and orders. Governing the Department. Governing the Department. And will obey the orders and directions of my superiors. And will obey the orders and directions of my superiors. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Tony Mazur. Engine 259, Tombstone Territory. <laughs> Lieutenant Aiden Carraher, ladder 4-0. Ladder begins at 40. Life begins at 40. <laughs> Lieutenant Stephen Clark, Engine 317, Sleepless Nights. Lieutenant Christopher Lugarelli, BFI, Special Operations Command. <laughs> Lieutenant Rosario Vaccaro, Ladder 155, The Viper's Nest. Lieutenant Anthony and Mastro Petro, Engine 44, the Fighting 444. <laughs> Lieutenant James Mayer, Engine 298, the Hillside Hurricanes. Lieutenant Richard Brogan, Engine 159, we do it all. <laughs> Lieutenant Michael DeMeo, Engine 332, Bradford Street. Lieutenant Daniel Washington, Lado 121, best on the beach. <laughs> Lieutenant Stephen Iglesias, Lado 48, the fruit house. Lieutenant David Torres, Hazmat Company One, the mothership. <laughs> Lieutenant Christop Christopher Flaherty, Engine 259, Tombstone Territory. Lieutenant Peter Leota, Engine 302, The Viper's Nest. <laughs> Lieutenant James Weiner, Ladder 168, The 18th Avenue Crew. Lieutenant Thomas Fitzpatrick, Ladder 39, the Pride of Woodlawn. <laughs> Lieutenant Edward Long, Ladder 28, the Harlem Hilton.
It's Anna Christopher Dominiki. Flat in one nine. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Lieutenant Matthew McNamara. Engine two five four. The watchdo watchdogs of Avenue U. Lieutenant Michael Sweeney, ladder 138, the Corona Tigers. <laughs> Lieutenant Robert Del Real, engine 310, Snyder Island. Lieutenant Patrick McFarlane, ladder one nine, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Lieutenant John Fuchs, ladder 101, the Red Hook Raiders. <laughs> Lieutenant Paul Newman. Ladder 2-8, the Harlem Hilton. <laughs> Lieutenant Sean Tui, Ladder 3-3, three, three, the Animal House. <laughs> Lieutenant Christian Fryer, Ladder 1-3-2, the Eye of the Storm. Lieutenant Brian Faraday, Bureau of Fire Investigation, Citywide South Command. <laughs> Lieutenant Joseph Papa, Engine 316, Land, Sea, and Air. <laughs> Lieutenant Christopher Sierra. Ladder 109, the Third Avenue Express. <laughs> Lieutenant Kenneth Riley, Engine 69, the Harlem Hilton. <laughs> Lieutenant Sean Shearer, Ladder 32, the Gun Hill Gang. Lieutenant Michael Armstrong, ladder 84, Oz, close to the edge. <laughs> Lieutenant Frank Monty, engine 220, Pride of Park Slope. <laughs> Lieutenant Matthew Bowler, engine 50. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> Lieutenant Anthony Marquise, Bureau of Fire Investigation, Citywide North Command. <laughs> Lieutenant Patrick Rooney, about a 157, the Jolly Rogers. Lieutenant Nicholas Pentanatos, ladder 167, the Patriots. <laughs> Lieutenant Christopher Armas, engine 250, the Outback engine. <laughs> Lieutenant Scott Wiesner, engine 168, the 18th Avenue crew. <laughs> Lieutenant Michael Dudley, engine 33, Bowery U.
Lieutenant Brandon Weeks. Rescue two, the Bulldog. Lieutenant Kinga Milnick, Bureau of Fire Investigation, Citywide South Command. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Craig Williams, Ladder 120, the tradition continues. Lieutenant Melvin Carranza, Engine 307, Jackson Height Knights. Lieutenant John Walsh, Ladder 59, the Blue Devils. Lieutenant Patrick Chatterton, Engine 83, the Bums on the Hill. <laughs> Lieutenant Thomas Schroffenberger, Ladder 150, the Hollis Hogs. <laughs> Lieutenant Dennis McCutcheon. Ladder 5-9, the Blue Devils. <laughs> Lieutenant James Perot, Squad 6-1, taking a job near you. <laughs> Lieutenant Woodley Joseph. Engine 310, Snyder Island. <laughs> Lieutenant Sean Fitzgerald, Ladder 174, Snyder Island. <laughs> Lieutenant Joseph Kosha, Engine 16, the Pride of the East Side. Lieutenant Gerard McManus, Ladder 155, The Viper's Nest. <laughs> Lieutenant Joseph Mazella, Engine 81, The Pride of Kingsbridge. <laughs> Lieutenant Stephen Beers. Engine 3 4, the pride of Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Lieutenant Luke Newbold, Ladder 155, the Viper's Nest. <laughs> Lieutenant Scott Hickey, Ladder 4. Pride of Midtown. <laughs> Lieutenant Patrick Kingsland, Ladder uh, Squad 252, in the squad we trust. <laughs> Lieutenant Mark Viscani, Engine 243. The 18th Avenue crew. <laughs> Lieutenant John Manning, Ladder 18, Fort Pitt. <laughs> Next, we will promote to the rank of Fire Marshal, Eric Huber. Please come up on the stage to represent the group. I will ask the other promotees to remain in place. Raise your right hand and repeat the oath with the commissioner.
Aye. State your name. I, Eric Huber. Having been promoted to the rank of fire marshal. Having been promoted to the rank of fire marshal. In the fire department of the city of New York. In the fire department of the city of New York. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the state of New York. And the Constitution of the state of New York. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of such rank. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of such rank. According to the laws, regulations, and orders. According to the laws, regulations, and orders. Governing the department. Governing the department. And will obey the orders and directions of my superiors. And will obey the orders and directions of my superiors. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. Ladies and ger gentlemen, Fire Marshal Eric Huber, Engine 325, the Woodside Warriors. Fire Marshal Dion Kelly, Engine 220, Pride of Park Slope. Marshal Felice Cataldo, Ladder 160, the Springfield Express. Fire Marshal Jacob Smith, Engine 313, Raccoon Lie, Lagoon. Fire Marshal Stephen Magnus, Engine 26, the Bat Cave. Fire Marshal Charles Nieves, Ladder 27, Cross Bronx Express. Fire Marshal Thomas Bolin, Rescue 4, Popeye. Fire Marshal Gerard Brennan, Engine 282, It Ain't Easy. Fire Marshal Wayne Hepburn, Battalion 39. Fire Marshal Anthony Tessie, ladder 84, Oz, close to the edge. Fire Marshal Ian Brennan, ladder 129, downtown Flushing. Fire Marshal Joseph Vargas, engine 294, Els Angels. Fire Marshal Eric Lambrex, ladder 106, Brave, Brave, Greenpoint's bravest.
Fire Marshal Thomas Galea, ladder 160, the Springfield Express. Fire Marshal William Toth, engine 47, the pride of Morningside. Fire Marshal Matthew Rocco, ladder 50, the cuckoo's nest. Fire Marshal Jose Prosper, engine 38, the doghouse. Fire Marshal Robert Morgan, engine 325, the Woodside Warriors. Fire Marshal Dunstan McPherson, ladder 176. The Tin House. To... Fire Marshal Dale Merritt, Engine 303, Princeton Street Tigers. Fire Marshal Andy Echeverria, Engine 42, to OK Corral. Fire Marshal Thomas Dolan III, Ladder 161, the best ride on Coney Island. Fire Marshal Christopher Magus, Ladder 142, Blazing Saddles. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a nice round of applause for all our new fire marshals, lieutenants, captains, battalion chiefs, and deputy chiefs. And everyone who's still not standing, can everyone please rise for the benediction from Monsignor John Delendick. Detail, uncover. <clears throat> Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Heavenly Father, we ask you to send your blessing on these new members of this department who have been um, promoted to new opportunities, to new responsibilities, and to new work. Help them to see you standing by their side as they do their job. Send your blessing, too, on their family and friends who are here with us today. Help them to continue to love them and challenge them as they move along in this department. We pray for all of us who are here today. Particularly, we pray for peace in this world and peace among all of us. As of always, we ask this as your loving children. Amen. Detail, recall. On behalf of, uh, you, can re you can take your seats. On behalf of the Acting Fire Commissioner, Chief Deputy, uh, Acting Fire Commissioner of the Chief of Department, our distinguished members of the dais, I want to thank everyone for joining us for today's promotion ceremony. Congratulations to our new promotees. This concludes the ceremony. Everyone have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, after the promotion ceremony, friends and family, if you'd like to take a picture, please line up to the left of the stage. Company members will be after the family members. Thank you very much.